Hey everyone, and welcome to the next entry in our video blog series that showcases and highlights some of the cool and interesting features of a universal robot. My name is Josh Westmoreland, and I'm the robotics project manager here with Cross Robotics. As you'll see, today I've got a UR10 equipped with a 140 millimeter stroke Robotique gripper and a UR5 equipped with an 85 millimeter stroke Robotique gripper. And what we're going to be showing you today is how you can use a digital I.O. handshake to have two robots working in a coordinated manner. And the real world applications are endless. You know, joint assembly task where you need two robots, one to hold a part, one to manipulate a part, um, as well as any other thing that you can think of requiring coordinated motion. So we're going to show you how simple and easy that can be to set up with a UR robot. So this time we wanted to show you the process and then show you some of the steps that we took to implement that. So throughout this process, we have the UR10 sending outputs to the inputs of the five and vice versa to coordinate the motion between the two robots. And obviously a very simple program here, but we wanted to show you how you could have two robots working together very quick and very efficiently. The first thing we need to talk about is how to wire the digital inputs and digital outputs together because this is different than how you would normally wire a standard push button or proc sensor. This screen comes from the Universal Robots user manual and it shows that to wire two robots together you need to use a common ground as you'll see indicated from the black wire. The green wire shows digital output 4 of robot A wired into digital input 0 of robot B as well as digital output 3 of robot B wired into digital input 7 of robot A. On the next screen, we will show you the structure tab where we're going to input our commands to be able to handshake back and forth. As you'll see highlighted with the green arrow, the wait command is what we're going to use as we're waiting on our robot to receive a command from the other robot and the set command is how we're going to send a command to the other robot. Here with the green arrow we show what the where the wait command is in the program tree and as you'll see with the yellow arrow we are waiting for digital input 7 to go high which is when we'll receive our command from the other robot. On this screen highlighted with the green arrow, you will see where our set command has been inserted into our program tree. The yellow arrow is showing that we have programmed it to send digital output 7 to the other robot. Now obviously we didn't show you every handshake between the two robots, but hopefully now you have a better sense for what it takes to have two universal robots communicate with each other and act in a coordinated fashion. So as always, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. And if you have any questions or if there's anything we can do for you, visit us at crossrobotics.com. We look forward to hearing from you soon.